SDR News coverage of Interop 2014 in Las Vegas features interviews with a number of Interop exhibitors, including this in-depth interview series, which was recorded and provided by HP. For those of you out there in uh, live stream land, uh, this is Eric Holton. He is a uh, senior te technical marketing engineer who has been doing a lot of SDN-related stuff, and we're working on cloning him. And uh, so, Eric, thanks for joining us. I, I was talking about our, our really, we've spent a lot of time about SDN. We just showed the link, you know, net, network optimizer, and uh, the other one that really goes hand in hand with that from an HP developed SDN application is network protector. So probably a good opportunity for you to maybe just give a quick overview and maybe a, qu a quick demo if it's appropriate or just to talk through it. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Go on, you hold that or? You can hold it. Just keep okay. it close. Keep it close. Okay. Thanks, guys, again for joining us. So, I mean, what you guys have heard is I think the really important thing to get out of this is this is a real live application. You can buy these today. Right, and that is something that no one else in the industry is really doing. I, I would just got done with a customer conversation, where they were talking to NEC, and they said, "Hey, NEC, show me this. I want to see it work." And they never could. So, I mean, that's really, really powerful, and it's something we need to drive home that these are real solutions, and they're really available today. So, I, you know, no one else is really doing that. But let's talk about what Network Protector is. I'm sure many of you out there have heard of Sentinel. Sentinel was the the name of the proof of concept that we had. For, um, for what is now called and is commercially available as Network Protector. So uh, Network Protector, a real, a real application, it is, the, it is the productized version of the Sentinel proof of concept. So what we're doing here is we're taking the, the tipping point reputation database services that are um, available in a tipping point IPS, but instead of um, enforcing that at the core of a network, you know, the only place you can probably afford to put an IPS, now we want to uh, use the OpenFlow protocol to enforce that right at the access layer of a network. So we're using OpenFlow now to redirect all DNS traffic from the edge of your network up to our uh, controller and the network protector application where we compare it to the, the RepDV and if there's a match, it means, hey, we want to block that traffic. So now let's take a look real quick at, at what that looks like. I don't know, Rob, if you can zoom in or not, um, but so what we've got here is the uh, the network protector dashboard at the top left here uh, we, we've got a bar graph that would show the top 10 clients that are generating bad traffic down here below we would see the total number of bad of uh, malicious sites that have been blocked uh, at the top right over here we're gonna see our, our overall DNS status so um, you know how many total DNS requests are we seeing and then we have the ability with this solution to quarantine a user. So if a quarantine, if a user generates too many bad requests, or um, or generates too many requests per second, we're going to actually block and quarantine that traffic. So that's what's going on there. Um, from from a user perspective, what happens if we try to access a site? So let's say you know, let's let's say I want to do a you know resolve hp.com. That's going to work just fine because that shouldn't be a blocked site. But if I try to access a site that I know is bad, I'm going to get, you know, try to access a site called piratesmustdie.com. Um, we're going to get redirected. If you, if you, if, I don't know if you guys can see this, but this address actually matches the address of the system we're, uh, we're uh, RDP'd into. What this means, though, is if I come over here and, you know, I'm at hp.com, and let's say I try to access piratesmustdie.com. If I go over here and I try to access piratesmustdie.com, I get redirected. I get notified that there is a problem. So that redirection, that feedback is, is really valuable to, to users. Um, the other thing that I wanted to show you just really quick is the quarantining. I've got a little script here that will just go through and do like 30 different DNS request lookups. And what you'll see is that right now those requests are starting to time out. We've been blocked. We've pushed a dynamic open flow rule down to the switch that says anything coming from this client, anything from the source IP address of that client, drop it right at the edge of the network. So again, a real product available today, um, you know, to add value in customers' networks, and you know, hopefully it, it makes a lot of good sense. So uh, that's that's network protector.